But that's what's happening when you're working for a builder. Right. And I love when I hear, well, I've gone to school with this guy since second grade, and we're buddies and all. <laughs> no, you're not. And if that's the case, he's taken more advantage, advantage of, of you than right. anybody else. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 385th episode of Potty Talk. And today's episode of Potty Talk, in fact, the title of today's episode, mm -hmm. Potty Talk episode is Why Residential Service Plumbing Makes Dollars and Cents. Cents as in? As in not like in pennies, sense. but common sense. <laughs> well, it's not so common, sadly, okay? Um, but it's very, very wise, yeah. okay? Yep, so All we're right. going to talk about um, how to and, and why. You should be with the residential service right. if and you're a plumbing we, business. And I've touched mm -hmm. on it and said it, you know, I think even recently, you know, in, in, in Potty Talk or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, mentioning. We're going to go in depth. But, but I want to give. We're going right. to drill down. There we we're go. Gonna drill down. Okay. But right now, if you are watching on or whatever platform you're watching on or listening, please go out and give us a like, a review, a follow. Um, you know how algorithms work and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, we, we'd love to. Have you leave us a review and, and a follow. All right. Share okay. the love. Mm -hmm. Share the love. All right. So okay. why, why, Million Dollar Plumber, does residential service make plum for plumbers make dollars and cents? Well, number one, mm -hmm. first of all, mm -hmm. there's lots of customers. There are lots and lots and lots. Lots of customers. Mm -hmm. Look at all the houses and, you know, apartments and people. I mean, all that. I mean, there's lots of customers. Right. Okay. Well, you know, you can think, well, I got, you know, the building account and I'm, you know, I'm doing, I'm doing a hundred homes a year, which are not. I mean, building okay. as far as new construction. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, but here, here's a lesson. You, you have one customer. When it okay. comes to a builder. When it comes to a builder, mm -hmm. even, even warranty work or commercial work, whatever. There's, there's one, one person making a decision. Right. You know, I, I, I learned this, um, you know, one of, one of our businesses was, remember ProTech Assembly Services? Way back we in the day. We are not covering this, are we? Hey, but <laughs> hey, if you ever had a bicycle at Walmart or Target or, you know, those kinds of places, mm -hmm. well, our company assembled those. Our company those. assembled those, correct. Okay. You think that the stores themselves, you know, the Walmarts, the Targets, the Myers, the, all the, the ones, assemble their right. own bikes and grills. They do not. They out, they outsource that. So, so we, we had a business that it, did that. We were in five states. Right. And we grew up, yeah, the Midwest or whatever right. and, and, you know, lots of employees and doing this kind of work and all that kind of stuff. And, mm -hmm. you know, we thought we were making it. Until, mm -hmm. oh, literally, a right there. oh, did you Sorry. get it? You're making. I didn't okay. get him. Is that, is that one you sneezed up a little <laughs> no. while ago? Or, like, ooh, no, coming after me. <laughs> What's going on here? That is like flying okay. around us. Sorry, guys. That oh. is not good for <laughs> podcasts for sure. <laughs> so, it, it's you know, I learned this lesson because of a large retail box store. Mm -hmm. You would recognize very large, mm -hmm. okay, nationwide. In fact, even some international. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, you know, the person that decided, you know, that I worked with or whatever that, that had the contract with for all the stores. Right. If she, okay. um, she was the buyer for right. um, sporting I, goods. So the right. sporting goods buyer is the one that made the decision on what company to use right. to assemble their bikes and cars. Now, we had all the stores. In fact, it was creating, you know, it was a mil millions of dollars worth of work. Right. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. So we got lots of, got lots of works, sure. lots of bikes and lots of grills of and all kinds of stuff to some furniture, all the stuff to assemble. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Displays. We did the Christmas tree displays. Mm -hmm. That was always a fun time of year <laughs> in the Christmas tree displays, you know, mm -hmm. we, we were the ones to put all that together. Right. Okay. And, and so, but this person moved on, she got a promotion to whatever buyer, mm -hmm. And so now they brought into the sporting goods the candy girl. Well, yeah, they changed the <laughs> the candy buyer got promoted to sporting goods buyer. Right, right, right. And that was our new contact. And that was our new contact, the mm -hmm. candy girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> and the candy girl <laughs> wants to make her own way. Right. I don't. She doesn't. Have a, I don't have a relationship with her. No she doesn't know who we are. She doesn't know. She doesn't, doesn't care. That doesn't mean mean a daggone thing. Mm -hmm. We wind up losing all the stores mm -hmm. because she wanted to make her own way. Mm -hmm. It wasn't because we were poor. It's just I I I was able to. Look what I did. I brought in this other company, you know, saved, saved, saved a couple pennies on each bike, bike mm -hmm. that, that kind of a thing. And look mm -hmm. what I did, mm -hmm. you know, yep. that's having one customer. That's what's happening when you're working for a builder. Right. And I love when I hear, well, I've gone to school with this guy since second grade and we're buddies and all. <laughs> no, you're not. And if that's the case, he's taken more advantage, advantage of, of you than right. anybody else. I guarantee I to you, I could walk into where you're at with this builder and I could take your work. Mm -hmm. I just do it for le way less. Okay. I, I could take your work. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, because you have that one customer with residential service customers. All yeah, right. Lots. There are lots of them. Right. There's lots of Mrs. Joneses. Mm -hmm. And the you beautiful know? thing about it is you can decide there's a Mrs. Jones you don't want to work for right. because she's just a pain in the butt. And you're not then losing 
you know, right. hundreds of homes or some big contract, right? Right. You know, if she owns one house, she makes decision for her house only, and she's a pain, and she, you just don't want to do it anymore. Okay, you decide you don't work for her. I remember one of our clients said that was the most freeing thing when they got to that point because in the beginning, you're taking every call, right? right. It doesn't matter every single call that comes in. But once they'd grown their, their business and they were able then to be a little bit more picky that we're not going to – work for some of these customers that just rake us over the coals, you know, over pricing or whatever. And one, there was one customer in particular, and she said it gave her such a sense of freedom that she could tell this Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones, I don't believe we're, we're the plumbing company for you, and we recommend you go find another plumbing company. And the woman was outraged, what? And and it didn't matter. It, our, our client, um, <laughs> her name's Katie, just said, uh-huh. you know what? It, it doesn't matter because it, there's no shirt off my, oh, what do you call it? No skin off my nose, there, or right? Right, and it just felt so good to say, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna service this type of customer. Um, and when you have lots and lots and lots and lots of customers to choose from, you can do that. Right. That's also that's lots of that's also lots of nuggets of gold. Lots of gold. It's not just one one place here. Okay, mm-hmm. or what, whatever you know metaphor we want to use. Right. So drilling for oil. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's you have lots of wells. Right. That that, that can that can produce. Some are going to produce great. Mm -hmm. Some are going to produce little, some may fizzle out, Mm -hmm. but you have lots of that. That that all equals out. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's, it's just a huge market there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, lots of homeowner makes the decision for their home for the most part. Again, even if you do work for, you know, a big office building or something more than likely it's a facilities manager or something that you're dealing with. Um, and you may say, well, gosh, we've got the whole school system or whatever that facility manager moves on. You know, what, what somebody else comes in, they don't have a relationship with you. Right. Right. So the relationship's not there. Right. Which also lead, you kind of touched on this, or point number two, mm-hmm. it's with uh, residential service. Okay. Mm-hmm. You serve the direct beneficiary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So to kind of go with that example, you may have the whole school district or let's say like you have all the Walmarts. Okay. Right. Say, right. you know, or what, something like that. Mm-hmm. You have all the Walmarts in your district. Okay, and you're dealing with the you know the the one guy, or even when you go into the Walmart and you gotta you gotta touch base with the manager or something like that, mm-hmm. they don't care. They do not care. They they don't they oh. don't they, they don't benefit directly benefit from right. what, what's going on. It's such Who's, a pain to have you there, right. and and you're right. They 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 don't benefit in a way. This isn't their house. This right. is just this is just a job, and I've got a toilet backing up and. Fix it cheap. Get out of here. Leave yeah. me alone. Right. Whatever. Right. All the way to who's paying the bill mm-hmm. doesn't benefit from your service. Correct. So there's 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 no relationship. There's there's no emotion. What emotion is there is negative on their part. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because they they don't benefit. Right. Whereas a residential customer, Mrs. Jones, that we call as mm-hmm. our residential service customer, she directly benefits if you know her water heater isn't working and you replace it. And or you fix it or whatever, um, she directly benefits that because she can get her kids bath, right? She can get, get her kids a bath that night. She can cook, you know, whatever it might be. If it's you know a, a running toilet that has the noise and and all that, she directly benefits. Um, I say she, he too, directly benefits from not being woken up in the middle of the night by the the running toilet or having to constantly turn it off or whatever. You know, go go through the litany of things. The garbage disposal is not working. She directly benefits, your residential service customer directly benefits from that garbage disposal not backing up anymore, right? right. So she cares that that gets done um, and it gets done right. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it'll touch and it touches on another point I'll bring up here in a moment. But uh, before we go into f- any further here, hey, I just want to ask you if, you, if you like what you're hearing and, um, and you're, you're finding value with this, please share. Mm-hmm. Okay. Share with others. Yeah. Uh, you know, we want to we wanna reach as many plumbing entrepreneurs as possible and give them this information. So right. pl- call please. the trade up. Yes. There we go. Okay. All right. And for being here, I have something for you. All right. So check this out. Hey, plumbing pro, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. I gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plumb like a champion. All right, we're back here, and we're talking about why residential service plumbing makes dollars 
and sense. Common sense. Not pennies, but yes, common <laughs> sense. Common sense. Okay, yes. and we talked about there's lots of customers. Mm-hmm. You have lots and lots of homes, lots of customers, lots of Mrs. Joneses, mm-hmm. okay? And Mrs. Jones, all right, who you're serving directly benefits from, from your, your service. service. Okay, they get their day back. All right, they get the hot water. They get their toilet to run, I mean, to flush. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, and so. They care. Like they care. So they're the ones writing the check because mm-hmm. they, direct, they directly benefit from. Correct. What, you know, what, what your service is. Or it even could be something new. We didn't mention that in the previous section, but it could be something new that they've decided to purchase, a new water softener or an RO system or right. whatever. They're directly benefiting from the plumbing that you're doing in their home. Right. So. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which brings us to number three. Uh, okay. Value versus price. All right. Okay. And this is the thing right here. Okay. If, if you think you're selling plumbing, you're, uh, wrong. you're wrong. Okay. It's, it's holding you back. You're not selling plumbing. Mm-mm. Okay. Um, and if you want to sell plumbing, then I guess you should work for, you know, you know, do new construction and that kind of thing. Cause it's, it's all it's about, all it's, about it's, it's about the plumbing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nothing about value. Now I know you're going to, I can hear, I can hear Well, they want quality. No, they don't. No, they don't. How many <laughs> house we're in, we're in a million dollar homes. And we, I mean, we're, we're at, I mean, you look at the toilet, and they didn't, they didn't install totos or whatever. They're gonna no. be. It's the low. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. You guys know, you guys also know we learn in these homes. That's how we learn plumbing. <laughs> okay. So it's not about value. It's about getting the price as low price as possible low because it's all about possible. them making as much money as possible okay. and getting the job, getting to build the house. Right. right. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so, whereas, you know, when you were, we're dealing directly with Mrs. Jones, okay. Residential service plumbing. Okay. They value getting their day back. Mm-hmm. Okay. They, they value having hot water, not a water heater. They value having hot water. Mm-hmm. So you're not selling a water heater. Mm-hmm. All right. You're providing hot water. Yep. Okay. That's, that's the value. You're providing okay. the uh, bath time for the kids. You're right. providing a hot, hot shower for Mr. and Mrs. Jones in the morning. Right. Right. That, that's what you're providing. Not plumbing. They can flush the toilets. That crap's not coming up in the, t- uh, you know, in the bathtub anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever. Okay. They value, that's the value, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's face it, home service companies are a dime a dozen. Mrs. Jones has many to choose from. It may not be PC, but she does judge a book by its cover. That's why there's Kick Charge, the industry's leading and most awarded branding and truck wrap design agency who has been instrumental in getting home service providers noticed for over 20 years. And right now, Kick Charge is offering a $500 rebate to all Potty Talk listeners. Get more information? Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash kick charge and start getting noticed today. Um, and yeah, I can, hear, I can hear, I see the sound bubbles too. Well, they're, they're asking about price. Put, no, that's just because that's, that's the right thing to do. No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call a plumber. No one wants to spend any money with plumbing, even you. <laughs> uh, I, thought, I thought I was, you know, I was the greatest thing since sliced bread or whatever, you know. You know how's when it? you were a plumber. Right. You know, or, or, or our plumbing business. And oh, Mrs. Jones was okay. lucky to have me in the yeah. house. I've come to save the day. They don't care. Nope. Okay. <laughs> All right. They don't care about the, the, the stuff or whatever. Okay. Mm-hmm. They just want whatever it is to go away or you to do a good, you know, give me the new whatever mm-hmm. and then get the heck out of here. Cause I, I got, I got a life to live. Right. Okay. That's the value. Right. Okay. That's also where you make money. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's, that's what you're selling. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is, yes. is that value? Yes. And yeah. if you're being a professional plumber, if you're being a professional plumber and, and you're, you know, they're asking about price, um, and, and you, you've answered the phone in a, a great manner. You know, you've had a friendly customer service person. You show up in a nice, clean, new truck that's not leaking oil in their driveway. You walk into their home, respecting their home, putting on shoe covers. You go through the presentation in your, with your tablet of the options, all of that, right? Um, then the, the value is there. Now, if you roll up, you know, doing all the opposite of that, then the, the customer is going to be more concerned about price because they just don't trust you. Right. Right. They don't have a confidence level with you. That's that's what it all comes down to the trust. That's the issue. Mm-hmm. The way way you're looking and all that, and then you're and then you're telling me it's twenty two hundred dollars for my water heater. Right, and you but, look like and you, you look just like out of bed. Right, and, like, yeah. exactly. And your truck's falling apart, mm-hmm. and you know you're just leaking oil, and you walk through my grass coming up here and looking a know, cigarette. Right, mm-hmm. that that kind of stuff. That's not value. No. So you you've if you know if you've been a long time listener or listen for any length of time, you probably heard me say you know it ain't about plumbing. Nothing about plumbing business success or very little. I you know I go to the, I like to hit the extreme because I want to, I want to smack, you know, snap you out or smack you upside the head to, to think differently. Okay. 
but very, very little has to do with plumbing to be successful with a plumbing business. Okay. It's providing that value. It, the plumbing is a no brainer. Right. Right. The plumbing is a no brainer. Well, we, we, you're just, expect, you're expected to be expected to do it. To I, do I like how we, we talk about this, and it's like you use you know the basketball analogy. You know where we have, you know, the, the seven foot guy goes in, and, you know, you know, dunks, dunks the, the basketball ball. like, and, and then he looks like look like he's all that. Yeah, he's all right. high fiving and right. hooping and hollering. I okay. expect you to be able to do you that. You didn't have to jump to be able to do that, right? right. Now so, guard the other guy. He's on guard and right. start doing some other, you know, what? Right, but, but that you're expected to to then be, you know, if you're. If you're on a pro basketball team, you're expected to be a good basketball player. So if you have a plumbing company, a professional plumbing company, and you've got professional plumbers, you're expected to do the plumbing. So that's that. take that off the table, right? That's already expected. Right. It's all the other things that go into it that then gives the value to Mrs. Jones. Right. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's value. So, you know, why residential service plumbing makes dollars because you're able to charge for that, that value. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's just common sense because... These, these others, you know, the plumbing customers aren't looking for, for value. Right. They're looking the for price. Right. Correct. They're only looking for price, um, and, and, and they don't care. They right. simply don't care. It's just something that needs to get checked off and get done. So, okay. um, and, and you'll have, too, in doing this, you'll, you'll have people, customers, Mrs. Joneses, that love you. You know, nine times out of ten, your customer is going to love you. If you're doing things right, they're going to love you. So that, And that's, that's great affirmation, right? That feels good to see those reviews or to hear from the – the customer, man, you'd be really, you know, you saved the day or you, or you got this taken care of and it was just so great. And then you read the reviews about how friendly the girl was in the office and the plumber showed up and he was nice and all that, right? That That's an affirmation that you're doing something right. How many times have we heard in the, in, you know, with our clients and, you know, even within the Success Academy comments or whatever, they get, we finally get to that point where they're charging and I can't believe I did this, this job, you know, for, you know, $4,500 that I used to do for $2,000 mm -hmm. or whatever. And then, the customer gladly paid me and gave me a great review. It was like, right. I'm so su surprised. <laughs> <I know. laughs> well, no, it's, it's, they got, they got their value. They right. got, they got the experience, the way, the way you spoke to them when they, when they answered the phone. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the attention they got there and being on the schedule and then how you showed up and right. how you explained things and how you worked and the, all that kind of stuff. They, that's what they pay for. Right. You know? Yes. And that's exactly what you're correct. Right. Miss, Mrs. Jones, your perfect avatar that that's what you want. Right. So again, having lots of customers is great because then you can serve a lot of people. And more than likely, if you have a plumbing business, you you've got a heart to to provide um, great plumbing service to customers, right? You're already a plumber. You want to do a good job. Plumbers, what protect the health of the nation, right? right. That that's that's a very true statement. So there's pride in that. So you've got lots of customers that can give you that feedback and that affirmation, and that that feels great. As opposed to you know two or three clients that are constantly you know beating you up over the head over over price or over change orders or come out and just fix this or right you know what because or wait you, on your money because you have twelve other of my stores. Can right. you just do this for you know the gimmies you know and all right. that kind of stuff? Yeah, right. and then again, like I said wait, then you please just wait on your money. Right. We'll, we'll pay you when I get paid for the next job. GC says that all the time, right? right. Or as soon as this other um, uh, sub gets their work done or, you know, as soon as I get a draw from the blah, 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 whatever it is, right? right. That Mrs. Jones, you don't have to do that. She gladly, for the most part, pays you because she had the experience and she got the plumbing taken care of that she needed to get taken care of and she's got her day back, so... All right, value, Mrs. Jones. value over price. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. All right, good stuff. Love Residential service is the place to be. Mm -hmm. All right. So get there. That's just it. Yeah. So do it. Okay. Hey, guys, thanks so much for joining us on this episode of Potty Talk. So glad you guys were here. Um, if you haven't you know, been a long-time listener, go back and watch watch some of the other Potty Talks. We talk about a lot of great stuff, and Richard Bainey drops tons of nuggets of gold that will change your plumbing business. So. There we go. All right. Hey, but before we let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things, to so get out there and plumb like a champion. <laughs>